which Meghan bound Harry for many years, causing Harry's mind to become increasingly insane. Recently, Meghan Markle was investigated, and she tried to build her image before marrying Prince Harry. Meghan calculated and strategized every information to attract Harry. Meghan's communication strategies are truly malicious. I confirm that she is very manipulative and has dishonestly manipulated Harry. I don't know if I should talk about this. Meghan is not only doing this alone. I suspect that there is an underground organization controlling Meghan. And Meghan controlling Harry. Even if these were planned to deceive Harry, not just the public, he was still in on it from day one, if not before the wedding. Let's not be naive. Maybe it's a plan to overthrow England. It's crazy. One person I'm thinking of is Soho, her ex-husband. It seems like she at least got back together with him after her marriage to Harry. The information and rumors surrounding this matter are really too complicated. Meghan has a whole team behind her to help her hide bad things before marrying Harry. As for Harry, he was too stupid. Maybe he had a problem with his nerves. There were a lot of bad signs that I noticed when they started dating. I noticed this from the beginning. As a social worker, Doria should understand that this is unacceptable. Even though Megan is not an official social worker, this raises questions about their ethics and social responsibilities, as one should not take advantage of someone in this relationship without explicit consent and respect from both parties. I'm tired of the commercial party and poor Harry's excuses. I realize that he was an extremely spoiled child and a constant source of concern. The palace did its best to protect him and give him a good reputation, no doubt. A lot of work. Harry is a bastard, always has been, and still is. What surprises me is that Meghan was able to convince Prince Harry for many years until they were together at the altar but then became the subject of much controversy and criticism during their activities. And her other point of view, her fame and role within the British royal family have resulted in decisions and actions that are beyond what is seen by the public, press, and observers. The royal family needs to be constantly vigilant for the safety of all royals, especially Prince William, Princess Catherine, and their children. Meghan Markle is known as a traitor and selfish person. She came and destroyed the royal family. That was her plan, along with that stupid kid who left his family. I hope these bad things will be made into a documentary. Highlight all of her lies by cross-referencing dates with articles she has written, proving she is an absolute liar. To warn future royal generations, that the British royal family is a powerful organization that will last for many years without any force being able to break it. Meghan said that she was happiest when she left the royal family. As someone who has done this job, happiness is far from me. How can someone be happy when seeing others unhappy and suffering? Happiness is not how it is described. You know, she doesn't understand that because she doesn't really do work. She's an actress. She's pretending to be a humanitarian. She said it was a feeling of happiness. I know that Doria is not a clinical therapist. She is not a social worker. And she is not a flight attendant, even though Megan has asserted that her mother is all of these things. Fact, her mother was a makeup artist before Megan was born. After Megan's parents divorced, Megan's father assigned her mother a travel agency for which she allegedly tried to lure Meghan's father into a fraud scheme, but she was arrested and had to serve time in a big house. Research shows that Meghan's mother was evicted multiple times because she couldn't pay the rent after leaving the big house. Meghan's father had to raise her during those difficult times. And actually, he's not nice at all. He always thinks he's right. And if someone ignores him, he gets mad and beats that person. Megan was greatly influenced by the people who raised her. That's why she's like an evil witch. Megan didn't even have sympathy for her elderly father, even when he had two heart attacks and a stroke, which shows that the sincerity of Megan's sympathy was almost zero. She does not feel the pain of others, no matter who they are. When Meghan Markle did not give attention and care to her father during his most difficult times, 
It caused surprise and confusion among the public when she called herself a humanitarian. Yet she abandoned her father. This can provoke laughter because of the discrepancy between the image she projects and her actual actions, especially when these actions reflect a lack of sensitivity and care for those around her. Megan recently took a total of two trips to Africa and one trip to India. If she really wanted to be a humanitarian, she would have stayed in the royal family because the activities there are more practical and help more people than the outside charity activities she organizes herself. Megan is just trying to create a separate image and increase her popularity. Megan will go down in history as the biggest fraud to join a royal family ever, not just for creating a false image of herself, but also for the way she used it. Use and take advantage of the royal family's popularity and power to build your career and personal image. Meghan Markle is the worst and most selfish person I have ever seen. Meghan always denies the truth to end things that don't benefit her. What most people don't know is their status and the real current danger those two pose to the royal family. They were basically seen as threats. And surprisingly, he was more so than her. She is not allowed to wear a crown or royal property. And Harry can visit. If he gives them 28 days to set up jamming equipment and remove valuables, after the theft of three pieces of Queen Victoria's jewelry that disappeared from display. According to Charles, Meghan and Harry were involved in this. It's cheaper when it's something Meghan induced Harry to do. She's trying to get as much attention as possible. Meghan's mindset is to use bad rumors about herself to increase recognition and popularity. That is a stupid mindset that many people still have. She needs to live in the sewers and stop causing trouble for the royal family. Wow, this is so calculated. Meghan really wanted to appear like she would fit right in with the royal family in terms of performing her royal duties. It's scary how she psychologically manipulated him into believing that she had all the right qualities for what he was looking for in a partner. Of course, within a very short period of time, it became clear that she was not the same person, not enjoying and participating in royal engagements. Because the person she described from the moment she met Harry until then had never existed. The truth is that from the beginning, the royal family knew everything about Meghan. But Harry was so infatuated with Meghan that it was her trap. That's why Harry will marry her with or without permission. If permission is denied, they will tell the world it is because Meghan is black. If they had done it at the time, then people probably would have believed that the world didn't know then that she was a liar. Meghan is so cruel. Harry is by no means innocent. But there is no denying the fact that Meghan deliberately, with evil calculation and intent, prepared to trap the emotionally weakened Harry by deceiving his perception. Him about her identity and personality. She totally did it, but it failed with the public. Unfortunately for Harry, who was as foggy as a broken light bulb, he bought it hook and sinker. Too stupid to do some serious research and find out about Meghan's past. Such a cruel and calculating woman, but Prince Philip saw through her character, and he tried to warn both Harry and William about the dangers that Meghan could bring to the royal family. Family. Never forget the look on the queen's face at the wedding ceremony. She expressed worry and doubt about the future of the entire royal family in the context of this complicated relationship. Okay, surely all of us know that Harry is getting further and further into the mud. He turned a blind eye to everything and let Meghan destroy his family. It's so weak and stupid. Don't forget to like, come on, and subscribe to the channel to follow many interesting information. Goodbye and see you again.